Now, if you were worried about the Americanization of Cuba after the U.S. relaxed their travel embargo, Obama didn't exactly help with the entourage that he rolled with. Several major business leaders joined the president's delegation, including the CEO of Xerox and executives from companies like Marriott and Starwood, which just struck a deal to become the first American hotel operator in Havana in nearly 60 years. Yeah, bringing these guys on your first visit to Cuba is like showing up to a first date with a 12-pack of condoms. Like, <laughs> no, I mean, we know it's likely to happen, but have some grace. Just have some grace. <laughs> For more, we go to senior foreign correspondent Desi Lydic, people. You're live in Havana, Cuba. First off, welcome back and congrats on your new baby. Thanks, Trevor. She's fantastic. She? I, I thought you had a boy, Desi. He's fantastic. <laughs> but enough about her. Trevor, history is being made here. After almost a century, a U.S. president is standing on Cuban soil. It's an image most of us never thought we'd live to see. Kind of like Hulk Hogan's penis. <laughs> Uh, but, Desi, Obama's there with the CEOs of Marriott and Xerox. Uh, how much is the president's outreach motivated by interest in opening the island to American businesses? <laughs> Trevor, that is a stupid thought, and you are stupid for thinking it. <laughs> no, America wants to help Cuba embrace freedom and democracy, and Cuba has so much culture to offer us, too. For example, I just tried some of the local Café Cubano. <laughs> had one of their delicious Cuban sandwiches. Desi, that's just Starbucks and Panera. Uh, no, I think it's pronounced Panera. <laughs> you really need to work on your accent. Okay, look, Desi, uh, to be fair, though, a lot of Cubans are concerned that big changes are coming and fast. Trevor, Cuba will only change at the pace it wants to. This is about respecting Cuban heritage and culture. Are you sure about that? Because it seems like Americans are getting set to impose their idea of the modern world onto Cuba. Oh, Cuba, you mean SoFlo. I'm, I'm sorry, what's SoFlo? So, south of Florida. It's what the real estate brokers are calling it now. Yeah. No, Cuba sounded a little too ethnic. Okay, Desi, it's, it's pretty obvious what's going on here. Okay. All right, fine, fine. You got us. We're gentrifying Cuba, okay? We're trying to spruce it up and get it ready, you know, just in case. Uh, in case what? In case Trump gets elected. <laughs> because, let me tell you something, if that happens, Americans are gonna be the ones on rafts heading for Cuba's freedom. <laughs> Refugees somewhere, that place better have a f***ing Whole Foods. <laughs>